Okay, this is the other project I wanted to try to do today. Got these two cowl vents right here. And they're old. I mean, they're still functional, but it'd be just nice to have some new ones in place. I've already taken this off once. It looked like it was going to need a little more work to get this part off. I need to find out what size hole I need for this. So I'm going to get this off, take this home as well, find out what parts I need to get new ones in, and get these replaced as well. As I've found with most projects, demo is the hardest part. This is so old, it's just coming apart in pieces. So I'm going to put this down in here to kind of catch some of the debris that falls off. Most of it I'm getting. There's some of the debris right there, but a little bit's falling down in there. I'm still going to be able to reach in there and get it. As you can see the core right there. You can see the fiberglass and then the core, the wood core, and the fiberglass on top. So I'm just going to take one of these off. That's all I need to get uh, the size of the hole I want to work with and go from there. Okay, this is a pretty easy project here. This is the cowl vents, the Dorade box cowl vents for my Hunter 31. I've already gone ahead and put this one on. I used some of the West Marine silicon sealant. I pulled out the old one and I got this. This is the Sea Dog cowl vent. And I've already uh, put one in. The, all the holes matched up, so it was real easy. I put the silicon sealant around uh, the base, and then I put it in each of the holes and made a ring around attaching all the holes. So it's kind of like two runs of uh, silicon, one around here, one all the way around kind of the base, the, the plate. And I actually did run a little bit up on here too, but that's just up to you how much you want to use. I didn't get much spillover. The spillover I did have, I just cleaned it up pretty easily. And this once again, a pretty easy project. I didn't have to make any adjustments. I just took out the old one. This is the old one that's still in there in the bag. That's the old one. I took it out. And I've got the new piece that's going to go in. It's going to look so much nicer. And there it is with the new one in. This is the old one. You can just see how old and pitted it was. There it is with the new one. You can turn it. A little harder to do it with one hand. I got the red interior. Just for fun. Got the red. Matches some of the red line I've got on the boat. So there's the new one. So now I'm just going to do the same thing with that one right over there. I'll be done with this project. Not very hard. Uh, about, I can't remember how much the cost of the fence were. I can find that out for you. Project. And I used the Sea Dog line cowl vents. I did get the red ones. As you can see from the box, you can get the white ones. Maybe if I were to do this again, I'd do the white ones. Uh, you also have these caps. So if you want to pull the cowl vent, you can cover up the vent very easily. And just to show you again, that's the old one that I took off along with the base. So I put a new base on and new cowl vent. Pretty easy project. So I put a new base on, used the silicon sealant, used the six screws, put it all right back in the same screw holes. And then the cowl vent just, go, just slips right on. And this was the three inch Sea Dog cowl vent. And that's it.